Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Parsar Ayupan, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a brand new video about zealot farming. So, as you guys may know, as you guys may know, um, zealot farming was a very, very big thing um, a little while back, and it really isn't that much of a big thing anymore. And um, not many people do it, but I'm going to tell you why it's actually really good still, especially for early game and mid game. Maybe not so much for end game, but uh, yeah. Enjoy the video, I guess. Okay, so as you guys see right now, I have some good stuff. I have a full Shadow Assassin set with really good enchants, I'd say. Um, I have three Bone Meringues. Um, they're pretty basic, nothing crazy, and a Flower Tree. And uh, if you can't tell already, I play Archer class in Dungeons. Uh, I also have this Baby Eddie, but it's not mine. Um, it's my friend's, so yeah, I'm not that rich. I have Skull and Pet, though. So anyway... What does this have to do with anything? Well, if you guys have w w look at my channel, or uh, if you guys maybe watched me before, you'll know that I have not posted in around four or five months. This is because I quit Skyblock around four or five months ago, and I gave all my stuff away to my friends. So, I have came back to Skyblock a week ago, okay? Now, this may not look possible with the stuff I have. Wow, like, all this stuff in a week? And, uh, yeah, and, uh, I have to thank Zealot Farming for most of it. Zealot Farming really got me from that 100k point to having a Bone Mering and a full Shadow Assassin set and able to grind some dungeons. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you guys why that's a thing. For starters, let's get the simple stuff out of the way. So, how much is a summoning eye from grinding Zealots? Well, obviously, grinding Zealots, you get summoning eyes. So, let's go on the bazaar here and check. One summoning eye currently is 655,000 coins, or 643,000 coins I it's to sell. That is almost the highest price it's been at, and the thing is, it's consistently at this price right now. It used to be at a much, much um, higher price at some point. It went up to 700k, I know that, but that was not very consistent. It has been consistently at this price for a very long time, so that's what makes it really good, first of all. So how does zealot farming even work? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Every time you kill a zealot in the end, you have a 1 in 420 chance to get a special zealot. This special zealot will 100% of the time drop a summoning eye, which is clearly worth 650k as I showed before. So basically, this means that if you can farm around 1000 or more zealots an hour, you can easily be expecting to get at least 2 eyes per hour, and if you add luck onto that, you can be making much more. Now you guys may not believe me when I say this, but I've actually made 11 million coins in one hour in two hours sorry from farming zealots now this sounds impossible but of course i was really lucky with it i think i got around 14 eyes in two hours and uh obviously that's not gonna happen to you every day but uh it is a possibility but parsa you might ask well how is like one one ish million an hour a lot if you said you farm around a thousand zealots an hour and you get around two eyes an hour how is one million a lot well, it's not, and here's the thing, you're probably gonna get way more than 100, than 1 million coins, and here's exactly why. Okay, so if we go over to the dragon's nest right now, right? As you can see, you have your good old zealots. Now, first of all, one simple thing is a lot less people farm zealots nowadays because it's not very popular. So back then, you'd have around 10 or even 12 young sets every lobby, young tryhards farming with god splashes. Nowadays, it's much easier. So if you can get yourself a young young dragon armor set and a god splash, you can zoom around the place and farm zealots. Oh god, what is wrong with my game? Alright guys, so I just restarted my game and uh, that weird rendering mode is fixed. So anyway guys, as I was saying, with a young dragon armor set, you can be zooming around the place and killing a lot of zealots. Now honestly, if I were to estimate it, if you were good at farming zealots, you can kill up to 1500 easily an hour. And also, one thing that helps, in my opinion, is a Flower of Truth because of its ability. So, for example, if you're running around and there's a Zealot on a ledge, like, right there, you can just right-click, and it'll kill it on its own. So, that makes it much, much better. Again, as you can see, the end isn't very filled, and it's very, very easy to kill Zealots. But that's not even the main point. If we go over to the Bazaar, and go to Fuels, and go to Catalyst, as you can see, these suffer a 109k coins of these. Now, how, what, why do Catalysts matter, Parsa? Well, that's actually quite simple. So, if we can find one, we probably can't, but sometimes, oh, wow, there you go. Sometimes, Zealots spawn with Ender Chests. If you kill them, as you can see, right down there, they dropped an Enchanted Endstone. 
Now, that's worth nothing, of course, but there's a decently high chance, maybe a one in five chance, that these drop crystal fragments. And with crystal fragments, if you have a decently high endstone collection, you can craft yourself the catalyst. With only eight endstone and these crystal fragments, you basically get yourself 100,000 coins for free. Now think about this, right? You're farming zealots in the end casually. You can easily get around 10 of these crystal fragments an hour just from the zealots, so that adds onto your profit by 1 million coins. Also, when you're in the when you're in the dragon's nest and you're farming zealots, lots of times people will place eyes into a dragon. Now, you might be mid or early game most likely if you're trying to farm zealots so you probably won't be able to do much damage and get much loot from the dragon but what happens when there is a dragon is on each of these pillars on most of them crystal little uh and crystal spawn and if you shoot them with your bow or hit them with your sword they actually give you one of these crystal fragments so that adds on every time there's a dragon you can easily be making around 400,000 coins per lobby so adding all of this up together, you can expect to make a lot of coins per hour. At least a good 2 to 3 million coins, which really isn't bad. And with insane luck, you can make up to like 10 million coins every couple hours. And easily you can make around 30 million coins a day, which is what I did to transition from mid-game, not, not, not mid-game, but early game to around mid-slash-end-game. Okay, but let's be honest here, you guys aren't going to believe me without proof. So I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to hop into my young dragon set, throw on my golem pets, level it up a little bit, and I'm going to grind zealots for one hour, and we're going to see that the loot that I get from grinding zealots for one hour. All right, guys, so we are done with the hour. Actually, insanely conveniently, the Endstone Protector just got killed as the hour ended. I am doing this on the dot, by the way, with the hour on the minute. And it's actually kind of convenient because if you look at the beginning of the footage to now, um, you will clearly see that I started when I was stage zero and now a stage four is complete. So that proves that it's been an hour. 
So anyway, guys, without any of further ado, let get let's get into looking at the loot. Okay, so I'm not gonna be counting much in my inventory. Actually, no, sure I will count everything in my inventory too. So um, as you can see down there, I have 109,000 coins. Um, I did not start off with that. That is all from just killing the Enderman. So let's get on to the main loot. So I'm gonna sell um my inventory and then my sack. I have a combat sack, so my inventory. That gives me 44,000 coins from those ender pearls, and then 56,000 coins from some more ender pearls. I also have arrows, which I guess I'll sell to the NPC, even though they're worthless, and I threw a couple out, um, so that's nice. I'm not even gonna bother with rooms, because rooms are kind of dumb, and I don't care much about them. So anyway, let's get into the main loot now. If we go over to our ender chest, as you can see, this is the loot that we got. It really isn't bad at all. So early on, you've probably seen the footage already. There was a dragon very early on. It was a protector dragon. And I ended up getting nine crystal fragments from that. And I ended up leeching. Um, the helmet isn't worth much at all. Um, so most of you guys, if you're farming zealots, you're probably not good enough to leech the dragon. And I was kind of lucky because the people in the lobby were really bad. So it was easy to leech and kill the, get, get the crystal fragments. But uh, I'm still going to count it. So then, uh, I ended up getting one eye, and then another eye, it took a very, very long time to get, I got it, and then the third eye, I got really lucky with it, and I got it at 39 zealots, and at the end there, I think I ended up killing around exactly a thousand zealots, um, if we looked at right when I killed the golem, which was around the last zealot I killed, um, it shows up there, um, the, uh, what's it called, amount of zealots I killed in that lobby, so yeah. That, that kind of works out, basically. So anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and sell everything now. So um, I'm just going to sell all these and sell. That's 2 million coins, guys. 3 summoning eyes is 2. That's crazy. 3 summoning eyes is 2 million coins. That's actually an insane amount of coins. For only 3. So then uh, I'm just going to come to the NPC, sell this right here. And then I'm going to just buy endstone. And if you really want to count the price of this endstone, you can. But I mean, it's like 600 coins, guys. It's nothing. I'm going to make them all into catalyst. And uh, you can also just sell the crystal fragments on the auction house for the same price as a catalyst would go for. I just obviously won't. This is much faster. So if I sell these, and I'll sell these. Um, yeah. So I'm actually surprising myself, guys. Um. This was a very average luck run, basically. Only uh, three eyes. It's pretty average. You can get more. You can get less, for sure, too. But um, 3.65 million coins made in only one hour. That is insane. It was probably a little bit less than an hour by a couple minutes because I, uh, I like, typed in chat a little bit. I texted my friend for, like, a minute or two. So, yeah, that is a lot of coins. So finally, guys, in conclusion for this video, zealot farming is an insane money-making method. And I think even endgame players could possibly use this money-making method. I mean, it is possible. I mean, it depends how endgame you are, but if you're early endgame, you can use zealot farming. Um, and yeah, the, the last thing I'm going to say is to zealot farm, you're going to want yourself um, a young dragon set. It's just the most convenient. You go the fastest. It's really not hard to get. You're going to want a god splash, which you can buy from the auction house for extremely cheap. Um, you can buy a god splash right now for 480k coins and it lasts 24 hours. And you're probably not going to farm 24 hours of zealots, let's be honest. You're not a me. And then you're going to want to obviously be able to one-shot the zealots. But yeah. Anyway, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I put a lot of work into it. And uh, right now it is 6.13am. I've been farming zealots for an hour and it's terrible.